wow, we're flying into this. I might get back to normality at some point. Right, um, there was something interesting, which I got, well, I got sent something about, um, what the hell is that? I got sent something about um, Mark Duggan. Who, in my view, was murdered by the darn police in London in 2011, which sparked off a few riots, you may recall. Um, there was a hearing in 2014, which completely exonerated the police, of course, vis-a-vis um, -vis Hillsborough, vis-a-vis -vis John Charles de Menzies, vis-a-vis -vis every fucking person they fucking murdered and got away with it because they're lying fuckwits. Um, it's come back now that they've been at the, the family have reached a um, agreement with the police. But I do believe the first verdict was actually overturned. Um, and the family have now reached an agreement with the police. Now, no numbers have been mentioned, no names have been mentioned, no nothing's being mentioned. It's a secret thing. I would like to say, firstly, I can't blame the fucking family because they probably had this coppers sniffing around the door threatening them with fucking intimidating behaviour and everything since it fucking happened. And they're probably so dog fucking sick fed up of it that they, they just want a fucking end to it. I mean, you've seen them with me. They just keep coming and coming and coming. They're fucking psychotic fucking animals. Um, so that's, you know, again, it's a no one to blame scenario, isn't it? Because they've signed off on that now and it's a secret agreement. And there's a thing with, I've actually made notes. Um, <laughs> Carl Beach, who named all the supposed Westminster pedophiles. Well, not just Westminster. I think there was an army officer in there and some other people. Um, and they then sent him to jail, right? Because um, they, they then declared that he was lying and that he provided... I don't think he was. I think he's been royally fucking stitched up. And again, you've seen them when they come round here with me. They just fucking lie about everything. But basically another judge, a retired judge, has said that the evidence required for the warrants by the police on Carl Beach's evidence was basically fucking lies, falsified. Um, but of course, the IOPC, who are there, their entire purpose is to clear the fucking police of every kind they commit. And in fact, encourage them to break the law. Um, the IOPC, uh, you know, cleared the police of any wrongdoing with the warrants, which were apparently misleading or just fucking lies. But you see, again, no one to blame. This is what they do. They stretch things out. They fucking lie about shit. They get their mates in the IOPC to fucking clear them. So it doesn't matter what, what fucking... So a senior fucking retired judge comes and says this is falsified evidence for these warrants. I don't know why they did that. I, I, I believe that Carl Beach was telling the truth. Um, I think he was probably quite right. So I don't know why they've, they've had to fucking manufacture evidence to get these warrants, but that has, has apparently happened. So the senior retired judge says that, the, you know, that these warrants were unlawful or whatever. But of course the IOPC says the police have done it. This is, this is what happens, guys. This is what they do. They stretch things out. They lie about shit. They just None of them can be trusted. The judges can't be trusted. The coppers can't be trusted. The councils can't be trusted. Fucking none of them. They are all fucking in it together. There's, you know, there's a reason for every little fucking thing they do. And if you try and work that out, they'll have you running around in circles for fucking years. Do you know what I mean? And you'll never fucking get anywhere because none of them tell the fucking truth. So I just wanted to get that out there. <laughs> I mean, I feel so sorry for these people who actually have gone to prison, who actually have been killed, because these coppers are a bunch of lying, fucking evil, psychotic bastards. And I'd love to call them stupid and fucking moronic, but you can't, because they know exactly what they're fucking doing. They set out to do what they do. From the start. They're fucking narcissistic little fuckface vile wankers. They have no intention of upholding law and order. If it's going to affect them or any of their fucking mates. They really are 
the scum of the fucking earth. Right. Thanks for watching.